Hey everyone, this is Rascal, and welcome to part 17 of the LP of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. In this part, I'm showing off how to do, well, it's the same thing as the Vibroblades. The only difference is that rather than having a third alloy, you have a, um, you have the slot for the crystal color. Don't worry, I'll be changing that from green to another color sooner or later. I just don't have that color yet, and yes, everyone's pretty much figured it out already. So, yeah, there's nothing much interesting to do, but uh, some crystals are so rare that you can only get them by beating certain creatures or bosses. And now, time to clean out some Mandalorians. So, the first Mandalorian is on Satelli Grounds. It's this old man right here. No, please, take my wife and children instead. Anything. What an asshole. Uh, not on my watch. So yeah, now that we have finding a lightsaber, we can deflect blaster bolts to a certain de degree. If I were to um, upgrade the deflection skill even further, um, I'd pretty much be untouchable, but I don't do it because there's little to no point upgrading the deflection because you have so many characters with either a lightsaber in your party or B with blasters that you don't need to worry well that was pretty damn easy a sieve carbine hmm interesting Okay, that was one. I believe the next we are about to head to the next one now. No, I already checked that bag. The next one is on the metallic in the grove, actually. Not far from um, where you have to do your D to clean the tank. Now there's three groups of Mandalorians before facing the major group. I like how these guys have already their shields going and uh, we haven't even started fighting. How cool. Okay, past me, just clean out the Mandalorians. Okay, so wow, this Mandalorian is brave and crazy. <laughs> That's hilarious, the Doros just comes punching me. Please, this is pathetic. Ooh, Carf leveled up. So, yeah, the thing about the blaster deflection skill is that, well, blaster deflection is that when you deflect it, you can deflect it away from you or directly back at the opponent, which actually damages them for, I think, a fraction of the damage of what you would have gotten or the exact amount. I'm not too sure how exactly it works. All right, now on to the next one. The next set is on Metallic Grounds, right far, not far from the uh, Kinrath, the Crystal Cave. In fact, that's actually the easiest way to identify where it is. Pretty much right next to the crystal cave, just a little off to the right, if you entered from where I entered. Now, the reason that uh, Mandalorian was stunned is because of the Bondar crystal I put into the lightsaber. On a 25% uh, a chance, it will automatically um, stun them for about, about five, or six, 5 or 10 seconds. Okay, this Doros is doing this. Doros is knowing the fuck out of me. Mandalorian. Oh, he's not dead. Now, if you don't choose anything to do as an attack, um, the default attack, the standard uh, attack, just a normal attack, will activate automatically. 
Wow, that was pretty damn easy. Now, it looks easy, but it's not. <laughs> In fact, it's not easy at all. Um, I'm making it look like a cakewalk, probably because my I got lucky a lot of times. But either than that, I don't see myself usually having an easy time with these guys. The smaller packs like this are relatively easy. After you clean the grove and have Basila as your party member, it's actually a lot easier because Basila, again, another Jedi, can heal your party for free with the Force. So there's little to no worries with that. And no. Come on, pass me. Demolitions? Nah. Don't need that. Uh. Ugh. Fudge. So anyways, time for the last members of the group. I forgot to clean up this thing. Whoops. This is the main group. These are the Mandalorians... This is the Mandalorian leader for this section. It's annoying as all hell. Because obviously the guy is considered a um, area boss. Uh, yeah, I'm just double checking everything I have. I tend to lose to this guy often. Uh, usually in my... Other playthroughs, I wait till I have Basila and I've cleaned the grove of the taint. But ah, this time I said to myself, so screw it, I feel I feel like I have balls of steel right now. Trouble for a mere Jedi. Now this is what I've been waiting for. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. We're feared, you mean? So, you want to have an easy time? Start uh, chucking grenades for our first bit. Again, just like any other boss. Come on. Sure. So there, there goes already a door warrior. All right, so whatever his name is, Sher Sherlick, he's the boss, and he's immune to most force powers, if not all of them. So one piece of advice I will, oh, for the love of God, I hate when it does that. Oh, I healed, boo. Kander just died. Oh! Car just is alive! Oh shit, uh, oh shit, oh shit. Shield! Yeah, I'm gonna might as well test these grenades. I'm not gonna use them. I don't see any other point of using them. Oh, you're still alive? Shit. Uh, advanced med pack? Then double med pack? Then shield again? Wow, that barely changed anything. There, this should kill him. There we go. Now, don't be surprised if you end up like in my situation with one character left alive. Now, probably, I'm going to say it, the easiest way to obviously beat these guys is to become a Jedi Guardian. Have full power and strength and just, you know, a very powerful lightsaber strikes. And there we go. Woo, all the Mandalorians are dead. We have cleared a mission. Yeah. Ugh, what happened? Here we got the license plate of the bus that hit me. Huh? Oh. 
But no, you're empty. Come on. Okay, now. It's time to clean the taint. Yeah. <clears throat> clean the taint of the grove. Now, technically, I did this first by accident, so yeah. But whatever. It will still end up the same. I will be your doom. Now, what she does here is actually for stun. What the hell? A red light today. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is Juhani. A dark Jedi. No shit. Eh? So an easy way to beat her, since she, if you're lucky, like me, uh, Force Whirlwind will do a lot of damage to her. You are strong. strong no. Who are you? I am Juhani, and this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. This is the place you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. Whoa, why'd you embrace the dark side? When I slew my master, Quadra, I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. Now... Here's the thing, um, Juhani, if you manage to, which I, what I do, bring her back to the light. She actually becomes a party member. Or, you can go full dark, be a total dick, and kill her. Which, you know, removes one party member from you. And the council is actually displeased with your action, so it's like, the hell? You who have beaten me so easily just want to talk? Yes, Juhani. Kill me now while you still have the power. I have no desire nice. to kill you. Now, um, since I'm not a very persuasive talker, obviously, I just have to, hopefully... Not anger. Peace. <clears throat> yeah. But even with your naive attitude, I am pathetic. I sit here and think myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is... I always thought they held me back, or jealous of my power. Wow, you're hit. You sound things. exactly just like Bastila, except been. you're a Cathar. I thank you for your kind words, Jedi. I seem to still have much to learn, both about being a Jedi and about myself. Yes, you do. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. Well, what were we using? Training blades or if real lightsabers or real blades? So Seriously, this would be the stupid thing the to fight hand-to-hand with, hand with real swords and training. If I show them, I am free of passion. Yeah, since I'm not a persuasive talker, so uh, the really? option persuade is like Do you think they would? useless in my opinion. The council may forgive. I am. Uh. me to. Now, if you fail one too many times talking to her, um, she will just decide to attack you and try to kill you. This time, your partners will, your teammates will be freed of the force stun, so you'll have an easier time. And now we head back to the Ebon Hawk, and we change party members to talk to Mission. I was thinking about Terrace. I still can't believe it's gone. I mean, I grew up there, and now it's, it's... It's just gone. Malik will pay for what he did, Mission. Don't worry. But, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I don't, don't know really what to say. I don't really think there's anything you can say. I just have to find some way to deal with it, I guess. It'll take some time. Look... Let's go shoot some Sith. <laughs> that always helps me. Like that. It's just... It's a shock, you know? I mean, I knew that the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. <laughs> but I suppose that's why we need to stop Malik, right? The more time exactly. I on, on Terrace, the more chance of Mother Planet will get wiped out. I guess that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malik or the Sith, I'll be there for you. Oh, isn't she sweet? 
and I I'm sorry for the way I acted before. Yeah, now it's time for her, her little backstory. My brother and me had a good thing going. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on terrorists, but we got by okay until Alina came and ruined everything. Uh-oh. She was a dancer at the cantina where my brother used to go play Pazic. Griff could be a real smooth talker, and it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But Lena was used to getting <laughs> okay. nobles, guys with mountains of credits. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. Whoa, okay. So obviously Lena this Lena took Griff away from her. Was, but for some reason, she stuck around. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. <laughs> yeah. I saw Lena for what she really was. A yeah, not gonna happen. Griff is those type of people that are too big coming up with always quick rich scheme plans and things like that, you know. A very petty criminal like we said in earlier parts. make their fortune off world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits he'd come back and get me. And we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went. Uh, well, we'll figure it out, Mission. Oh, don't I know worry. What happened. As soon as she got him off Taurus, Lena sunk her claws into Griff, but good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him forget all about me. I know I'll probably never see Griff. Whoa, okay. Part Mission has I some issues. Anyways, this part's soon going to end, so join me next time no as we... I won't well, find out what we're searching for on Dantooine. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day or night. Okay. Have it.